one faith, one spirit, one baptism. There is one faith. There's not many faiths. You know? And you can't you can't force unity. That's just nothing but adultery. That's spiritual adultery trying to to make a union of many faiths. There's one faith. There's one baptism. There's one spirit, one body. We have to understand. We can we are in the flesh unless we enter in through the front door. As Jesus said, I am the door. You know? He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by Him. There's no other name. There is no other name. And if we do not enter in through the front door, we're in the flesh, and we cannot please God in the flesh. As he said in Romans 8, 8, So then, those that are in the flesh cannot please God, but you're not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If so, be that the Spirit of God dwells in you. If anyone has not the Spirit of Christ, he's none of his. You know, and people that say that they don't have to feel anything... Romans 8, 16 is very clear. The Holy Spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are His. And it's more than a goosebump, you know. And it's more than just a feeling. You know, every experience that God uh, caused me to have after I was born again were very deliberate experiences that could not be misconstrued as a fleshly experience of a goose bump and you know so it's not just a it's just not just a goose bump or a or a tingly feeling you know it's like Paul said the kingdom of God is not in word but in power when he wrote to the assembly at Corinth in his first letter you know we need to we cannot please God in the natural. And the the one who is not born again of water and the Spirit, as Jesus said in John 3, 5, you, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. And in verse 3, he says you can't even perceive the kingdom of God. You know, as, as Paul said in his uh, first letter to the assembly at Corinth in chapter 2, verse 14, for the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God for their foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them for they are spiritually discerned. You know, we cannot please God in the natural. You know? And if you think that all I gotta do is believe, you're foolish because your faith has to be based on the Word of God and it is obedience to what He has spoken and written down for us that we might have eternal life. So I'm going to end it on that.